Hello and welcome to these videos about EcoStructure GeoSCADA Expert. GeoSCADA Expert is the remote SCADA and telemetry software from Schneider Electric. My name is Steve and in this video we're going to cover the MQTT driver available in GeoSCADA 2019 and onwards. With MQTT a cloud of devices are connected to a broker which is a third-party software process. Most broker software is open source. The GeoSCADA MQTT driver connects to the broker and subscribes to data coming from the devices. The MQTT protocol itself doesn't specify a content for the data. So to kickstart this in GeoSCADA Expert, we designed a simple format we call JSON-A. You can see this simple text data format, which contains a time value and a list of point names and values. In future, we'll add more protocol content, such as Sparkplug B. The format allows point names to be used, unlike, for example, Modbus, which needs numeric addresses. The point name is specified in the JSON message. A device is a group of points sharing the same topic, and this is the field named topic prefix. The topic is what addresses the data in MQTT. The protocol security is set up optionally with certificates for client and server links. To use the MQTT driver, we'll need a broker. In this demonstration, I'll download and install the Mosquito open source broker. The installation will create a service and add some utilities for publishing and subscribing so we can test the broker. I will start the service using the services applet. It's set to auto start on boot. Let's test the broker before going any further. Open two command prompts and set the directory to program files followed by mosquito. Then use the mosquito subcommand to subscribe to the local server and its port using a topic. Finally, use Mosquito Pub to publish a message to the same topic. Now create the GeoSCADA objects for the broker, device and points. I've created these in advance and the fields to note are for the broker, the host address and the port. Note that the client identifier cannot be blank. It doesn't really matter what goes in there. We'll not use security for this demonstration, but here you can see the user details and SSL certificate details. For the device, connect it to the broker and add the topic. I've used a more complex name here because I could imagine a system having areas and device names within those areas. And finally, for the point, connect it to the device and add a tag or point name. This is the name to be used in the message payload. I enabled historic storage too. Next, we'll use Mosquito Pub again to publish data to the broker. The command line contains the topic that exactly matches the device configuration. The message payload is in JSON format and contains the timestamp and the matching tag name. We've used double quotes in order to specify the uh, content of the JSON. Note that the timestamp is an integer number of seconds in Unix format. It's called the epoch, which is the number of seconds since the 1st of January, 1970. You can use utilities or a website such as unixtimestamp.com to get the current time for testing. A reminder about the format of the command. The command line includes the payload in quotation marks, but as our JSON message also contains quotation marks, they need to be duplicated. The JSON message can also contain multiple point values for a device all using the same update timestamp. Here's a recap of the subjects covered this time. 
goodbye and please join me again. Thank you.